Go. Hey, uh, yeah, it's 403. Welcome. Uh, it's early. We're uh, we're running around with our friggin' heads coming, coming, making it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Are we are we are we good? Can everybody see us? Can everybody hear us? Hi, Jan. Hi, Ping. Can you hear us? Can you see us? There's clapping. Can you see you? I cannot see me. So I'm going to go, oh, wait, wait. Okay. It looks like I'm just slow. Um, anyways. Okay. Excuse my crazy hair. Uh, tonight, uh, today, mid-afternoon, we're going to do um, an Asian sort of pickled trio. Um, so I've got one that is a, just a kind of a quick pickle, just general Asian vegetables, but it's a little spicy. We've got a Thai cucumber salad, and then we're going to do Vietnamese daikon and carrot for banh mi. Do Chow, I think that's what it is. Um, yeah. So, anyways, here we are. I hope that uh, you're you're well. I hope that um, your week has been good. My sister, uh, who's on the line right now, uh, apparently can plow now using a snow truck, uh, snow plow. So good for you, friend. She's amazing. Um, no sound. No sound. It's just going like in and out. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. Can we put it closer to you? No, it's not the sound. It's the, I don't know. It's, it's, the... it's just the interwebs. Yeah. Oh, you can hear. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't need a. I don't have a lapel mic. <laughs> let me let me pull. Let me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's weird. It must be. Maybe it's my phone. I think our house is possessed. That's Today what I'm just going to be. Because we have been doing, we tried to put up a light, a new chandelier light fixture in Amy's office, and I apparently tripped the breaker, which I didn't, it was, the light switch was off. I don't know, whatever. It should have been fine. Oh, look, I'm gone and now I'm back. I'll be back shortly. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do, we're going to do that. These don't take very long. The thing that, the thing that with these though, is that we have to, um, like, it's, um, how do I put this? I'm trying to put this in a way that makes sense. Um, they take a while to kind of come together. You know, like any pickle. So like make that. them early. Yeah. So, early in the day or the day before? Uh, probably the day before, but, you know, it's hard to. Um, Stop you know. trying to watch the. Chat. I'm not watching. I'm, what I'm trying to do is get the <laughs> chat up so I can see what's going on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, so the first thing, so the I think the first one I want to get done is the the Thai one, uh, because we're going to uh, dinner tonight or dinner with some friends, and they're making Thai food. So I'm that's why I'm sort of making this Thai cucumber salad, and I wanted to have enough time for it to sit and kind of come together, so we can taste it at the end, so we'll know how that one tastes. So, um, okay, so the, I got I got my my slicing cleaver. Um, I've been using this a lot more for vegetables because it's been killing it. So, I mean, not literally killing it, but, you know. Um, how is everyone? How was your week? Uh, Hoises, how's, how's, how's uh, recover? How's Alexis recovering? is also recovering from COVID. My God, people. Get it together. No, I'm just kidding. Whatever you and I got it. <laughs> I was just going to say. Um, the problem is, is that you can't. It's a, I, I'm pretty sure that it's unavoidable. So yeah. hopefully everybody's good. Um, yes, Paige, we are coming on early today because, like I said, we have a little dinner party. Um, so if you've ever made uh, cucumber salad, like Japanese style, which goes with sushi, it's really like cucumbers and and, and rice wine vinegar and a little salt and, and sugar, sugar and that's a, sesame and, seeds. And sesame seeds. That's it. So this is a little bit more jazzed up. I'm using very big. It's an English cucumber, and the reason I'm using the English cucumber is because it doesn't have very many nice seeds. It's very... Uh, it won't make you burpy. Yeah, so you can see in there. Can you see in there? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about the cam, the, the other cam, whatever. I don't know, I kind of like this camera better. It's crisper. Well... And the cabinets look darker, which I like. <laughs> Not so okay. red. Well, then we don't like that we want to get that $300 camera for this $90 camera. Whatever. Doesn't um, matter. Anyways. I have um, a question. Yes, ma'am. Why are those wrapped in plastic? I don't know. You have to ask the English. 
Anybody, anybody know? Anybody know why they are? Yes. Um, what else do I need? Okay, so this one I need two pounds of cucumber peeled and sliced, and I'm making it for eight. So the recipe usually is for four. So if you wanted to, you could just cut this now. But if you're going to make this, make it a lot because it's really good. Um, <laughs> salt, <coughs> red onion, <coughs> vinegar, sugar, cilantro, peanuts. Oh. I'm going to have a drink because I'm dying, apparently. <laughs> this happened to me the other day. I went on my first walk of my uh, my health kick with my friend Kyle around campus, and about halfway through, I was like, I've got some water. <laughs> but what are you going to do? The other thing we're going to make is we're going to make a, what is it, a prickly pear? Yeah, cocktail. A cocktail. And this is the pear we have. One. <laughs> So it's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Um, <laughs> so also, so the chopped peanuts is, a, is, a, is another difference in, in this sort of thing that you're, we're going to make. All right, From the so, one we usually make, you're saying? What's that? From the one we usually make? Yes. Gotcha. Um, peeled and thinly sliced. So keep these peels if you've got a, if you've got a compost bin. Um, oh, thanks, Teresa. What's up? This, these thin skinned fruits need the extra protection of plastic so they don't get bruised or dried out in transit. Well, I'll tell you what. Tender skin is one of the reasons English cucumbers are less bitter than others. Hey, welcome brand centers. It's been a while since we've seen you on. A little earlier, you're not putting the kids to bed right at seven o'clock. So, you know, <laughs> it's probably, you know, makes it a little easier. If I could plan around this, we'd probably do four o'clock most, of it, but also it's light out. Doesn't the light look weird in here? No, it looks good. I mean, I think that's contributing to the clearer picture. Well, uh, will the worms eat that? The worms will eat this, yes, but they won't eat the onion peels and stuff. But I'm trying to keep my add as much of the kitchen waste right now to the um, compost to kind of keep it sort of alive. Um, the other thing is, I'm worried. I'm not worried about it, but I need to migrate the worms so I can separate them, and then I'm going to like sift out what's in there and then um, start a new. The start, castings? Yes, start a new. Mm. So. Oh, Doug, you have your wedding ring on today. I think uh, it's the first time ever. On this podcast? Yeah. Or on this or ever? So. <laughs> no, not ever, ever, uh, but yeah. here. Um, Do you want us to take over peeling the rest of those while you continue? Or yeah, right. um, if you had a mandolin, this would make this job super, super easy. Look how then you can go with this nice blade. I mean, that's sort of what you're going for. You know, you want to have something that's a little Not bit. pickle chip. No, but a little bit better than that. So this could take forever, and I could probably, I probably should just get a hand mandolin, one of those plastic ones, you know? I got you one. Are you sure we don't still have it? No, we had that metal one, and that thing's been gone for who the hell long now. Are you sure there's not a plastic one up in the cabinet there behind you? There is not. If there is, then I'm blind as a bat and never seen it in the last two years, three years. Well, you're doing great. You don't need no mandolin. Yeah, they're a little, they're gonna be, a, they're gonna be pieces a little thick. You know what? We're all human. We're not a machine. Could you use the um, cheese grater? Maybe. It has a slicer on the side. If you wanted to, if you had like a little, um, those things are never sharp though. I've never had success with no. this. But they might do this because it's firm. That's true. What What about the um, slicer slicer? What slicer slicer? The meat slicer? Yeah. Well, that's what I did it on last time. Because we have a meat slicer, well, you know, deli slicer, but as I was observing over the time that I had this deli slicer, and I was telling Amy this, you know, when you're using, when if you watch, like, go to a deli and watch them slice, they load it in, and, like, they flip this thing down and it puts it in place, and they don't have to push any pressure on it. They just do the slicing, right? Because there's a weight on it to push it forward. And also where it hits the blade is in the middle of the blade. This one... You have to push pressure on on the outside and move it. At the You're same the time. weight. Yeah, and I it's it's work. It's done. It's magic. It's done what we needed to for do for years. But but it's worked. I think. 
Yeah. But I think it's time to move on to, you know, looking at a, maybe a better model. So if anybody knows any good meat slicers that they like, let me know. So again, you're going to need, you know, a couple of um, pounds or a couple, yeah, two pounds. That seems like a lot. Is that two pounds for four servings? Are you really doing four pounds? No, I'm doing two pounds, which is for eight Which servings. is doubled. Yeah. Also, um, I got a lot of crap from Ted when I talked to him that because he, we, we were competing with playoffs, apparently. So apparently, foosball is more important than, um, than side of this. So oh. Whatever. And he's a Packers fan. I mean, come on. Aaron Rodgers is a piece of crap. And now you're going to root for them? Boo. Boo, I say. And this is the story of how Doug got canceled. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fine. I'm not, I'm not the person who lied about having a vaccine and daydream a bunch of people. That's true. That guy's a douche. So, you know, I think I think I win. And then he goes on, like, Joe Rogan, of all people, to complain about how he's persecuted. Basically. How about Spotify choosing Joe Rogan over... Yeah, you know, wow. you make sure those bros are all happy. So. And now some more uh, oh, artists they, are following suit. I think so. So, I'm going to do, um, like, this one. And I wonder why it's really necessary to peel the skin. I mean, it's hardly anything. It really isn't, but, so. I don't know. And I, the problem is, is I like Spotify, but it's like, you know, can't you just have one large company that has, you know, I don't know, some sort of conscious to it that's like you could actually... <laughs> You know, you can't, what am I going to use, Apple Music? No, they're 10 times worse. But, or Amazon Music? No. Ugh, just can't get away from it. So, I'm going to go back to just listening to old-timey records. So. <laughs> well, there's no commercials. That's true. <laughs> and you get a nice music experience. I have a nice, we have a, I have a nice record player. So. You do. Um. What else? Uh, yeah, so, oh, Tom Brady retired. He announced that today. Really? After 22 seasons. Wow. Yeah, that's impressive. So He has more money than God. Well, you know, right to the supermodel. He's like the, probably will, probably will be regarded as one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, if not the greatest. And, you know. So. Is he a nice person? He seems like a nice person. That I don't know. <laughs> No, oh, it's, it's not. If everybody's arguing with you, it is not official. Yep. I saw it on NPR. So. Oh, and Andrea said he's also a douche. <laughs> I don't know, Andrea. He had that really nice house in Boston. He doesn't live there anymore, but it was really nice. It was really nice. <laughs> Maybe you don't know what you're talking about. I like the fact that we instantly getting corrected. Don't put a misinformation on the internet because apparently the side dish crew does not stand for it. <laughs> Holy Moses. <laughs> Good, they're keeping it honest. If of, only there was more of that in the world. I was going to say, there's a ton of like bad information out there, and all of a sudden, I'm the, I, I mentioned something that I saw from two reputable news sources, eight, the the Associated Press and NPR, and all of a sudden, it's like, no, he didn't. <laughs> I didn't realize the side issues were also big Tom Brady things or not. I don't think it's a difference of that. I think they're not fans of misinformation. Whatever it is. There's some educated folks here. <laughs> Teresa <laughs> wants to know if you read the article or just the headline. <laughs> I read I'm the guilty article. of that. Smart ass. Only Teresa could call me all that, but that's good. I'm guilty of that. And then I say to Doug, explain to me in 50 words or less. That what she made me do on the Ukraine battle. Why does Vladimir Putin want to invade Ukraine and I said because Vladimir Putin is a dickhead. And <laughs> I think that was that, the explanation. Was it? That's it. And then I then I went on and while Carmen was in the background counting on her fingers how many words I was using. <laughs> he was talking too fast. Yeah, well, I couldn't keep up. Well, I just didn't want a long involved thing. Just just the facts. Needless to say, there's a lot going on. Okay. <laughs> I mean, every day, but. Well, 
every day, every day. We went to an escape room last night, and oh. I got to tell you, I was very apprehensive, but I had a really good time. Yeah, it was fun. I really want to come back. Not maybe to do that one, but I want to do them more because I was like... They're good problem-solving skills. Not right? only that, but it was like... we we Use your brain. The problem is, is that we had one hour, and we barely saw one room in the one hour, and we didn't realize there was a second room. So when we got to the second room... I'm the one that solved the thing to open the door to the second room. Right. <sighs> but it was, a team, it was a team effort to get there. It was. Slowly. I didn't help at all before that. I think that was the one thing I helped with. No, you, you were the one pointing at the wall being like, so, X, you, Y, Z. I don't want to... Again, I had a good time. But they, they forgot to give us a marker for the whiteboard. They didn't have air in one of the things that we got. And it was yeah, I feel stuff. like that should have been just stra- um, exactly. taken like, away we from didn't, Yeah, time. we did. We didn't have that. So. Oh, we didn't solve it, Jan. Oh, no, we did not solve <laughs> it at all. We only got the Yellowstone the volcano room. that was supposedly there was supposed to blow up on us. Yeah, and... we all got blown up. <laughs> I flipped over. All of those rocks. Yeah. Wait, what? You flipped over all the rocks. She flipped over the bucket. That's true. We, we all had our we all had our contributions to this. I was talking about the map. Oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah, that was true. To find north, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're like northwest, and so I'm using an actual map of where north is. What I, you know, and I'm like, nope. So, moral of the story is, if you're going to go to an escape room, you should totally go and do it, and then also use your brain. So I just put a half cupish of red onion in there. This is pretty thinly sliced. And then I need one cupper of rice wine vinegar. Now, don't use seasoned rice wine vinegar because we're going to. Um, oh, yeah, that's probably true. What? Yeah. I was supposed to let the. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. Sorry. We'll start some other stuff while we do it. We need to put these in a colander and we need to sprinkle salt over them so that they sweat, sweat out a little, a little bit of those liquids. Yeah, I knew I was the stuff that I was like doing it. I forgot. Anyways, if it wasn't something like that, you wouldn't be watching this show. So, all right. So just take your colander, throw it in there, and then you need to put how much salt? How much does this recipe tell us? Four teaspoons. It seems like a lot. I don't think it is, though. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? Three, I think. John, are you out there? He's not. Well, if he is, he's saying unnecessary convert conversion, please. <laughs> so, does it say to do the whole all the salt and sprinkle the salt, not some of the salt, all the salt? Oh, I should track you. You're stuck, everybody. Sprinkling the salt. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So. I'm also going to take a. Spoon if DC was here, she would yell at you for that balancing of the bowl there. Of course she would. She's. I don't know. She's not. So you know, it's fine. <laughs> She's not here to keep an eye on you. Yeah. <laughs> what you did earlier? I was petting a bell pepper because its skin was all. Yeah, it was gross. It was rotting. <laughs> she was like this. <laughs> it's oh, funny. All right, so let's do another one. Oh, John is here. Let's put that on 10 minutes. Okay. 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 Is that all the cucumber you need? That For was only one, two of them. We only needed two pounds. That's about that's oh, two pounds. Okay. okay. Two carrots. Oh, I have carrots. Can you get them out of there? They're the multicolored ones. Yeah. Thanks. I forgot about that. Man, I was, uh, wasn't even home until 3.30. This is poor, poor planning on your part, though. No, it isn't. It's poor planning on all of our parts. What's going on in there? Yeah, I'll go out there, dude. Whatever. What's in the jars? What's in the jars? I don't know. What jars? A little farther. Yeah. That's not mine. Did you make something with it? There's one in this fridge, too. This is yours because mine's in there. That's not mine. That's overnight oats. I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Maybe. I guess it is. Mm, cool. Anyways. Yeah, there's carrots. cherries in there. Damn it. I've been looking for that. Anyways, we're going to peel these carrots. 
Oh goodness. Do you love it? This is why we this is why they tune into this is weird segues, just weirdness in general. So I bought these carrots because I was gonna roast some of them, but then it turns out that I can use them for this. Now, if you wanted to for this one, because this is the quick Asian pickle. That this is gonna be spicy. It's got a jalapeno in it, it's fun. So these are going to be two carrots. We'll use, uh, let's use the orange and the red. We're going to take the ends off. And we are going to match stick them. So, now if you wanted to have smaller match sticks, like we'll just take this and then we're just going to um, They're fat matchsticks, whatever. I don't care. They're fine. That's not matchstick. What is it then? It's not like cigarette stick. Whatever, that's gross. <laughs> Do you guys remember candy cigarettes? Were you guys born in the 80s to remember candied cigarettes? Oh, with powdered sugar. What'd you say? The powdered sugar in them. Then you oh, yeah. That's it's right. like the smoke. Yep. These are real things, everyone. <laughs> So, Today, right. Doug and I uh, also registered for TSA PreCheck for our vacation, and we had to decide if we were going to put our hair color oh, that yeah. we want to have, or gray or partially gray, because that is a choice. I mean, and if you look at me, I'd be lying if I said totally black hair these days or brown hair. So, yeah, that was good. That was good of you, honey. Well, you know, I am nothing. Because you know what I put. You put really. Of course you did. <laughs> she put mine as gray or partially gray, and then she put hers as regular. What a come on. <laughs> yes, Andrea, we want to be able to cruise through airport security with you and Lino. We don't want to be the loser. I don't want to take my shoes off. Anymore. Hanging out in the back. Well, hopefully, Billy, we are going on a cruise to the Caribbean in March. But, you know. The world as it being. Who we're going out of Fort Lauderdale, and you never know. Everything I mean, is crazy. It is Florida, too. So but I'm all checked in. Who, so who knows? A gator might happens. try to take over the airport. So. And we really put off uh, our passports, which I don't recommend. And it was very much stressing me out. And I didn't tell our traveling companions because I didn't want to fess up. But... We received them today. Yeah. Thank goodness. So that I could be honest about the situation. Today you finally fetched up? Yeah. I don't know if that's being honest. I took a picture of me with it and sent it to Andrea and said I was really nervous <laughs> that I wasn't going to get these. So, okay. So what are we doing with pickling? So the vinegar is going to help break down some of the stuff. It's going to go in there. It's going to make it nice. Now, over time, this will lose its oomph. I've had... Um, but not really. I mean, it's pickling liquid. If you if you were to, oh, I don't know, put these in your fridge and not eat them, they'll last a while. I got pickled onions in there that I made like months ago, and they're still good. So, you know, they preserve. That's why pickles are good the way they are for as long as they are. So, and I've just got matchsticks and planks. And... Okay, so... What's this? Cut the vegetables, place them in a pint-sized jar. <laughs> what? Billy said there are no restrictions in Florida for anything. You're probably good to go. And I said, Florida man has no rules. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is not going to be very good. And or, can you go get another one of these? Or do we have one down here? Do we need three? I Oh, I got one. Don't worry. I think so, because this is too many vegetables. I mean, it says two carrots. I mean, two carrots. This is one carrot here, right? So put these in your pint jar, because you're just going to add everything in here. And then when we get to the point where we want to mix it up, we will do that. So because that's one. I said we're doing this one next. Ooh, I like it. Purpley. It's probably going to dye your whole, all your stuff. Whatever. It'll be fine. Can't wait. We're going to have a little Thai food tonight. I love Thai food. And I haven't eaten it all day, so I can have as much as I want. Oh, that's not true. But. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Bless you. I would like to know which of you has been eating the Snickers. 
I have not. That's you? That's up. <laughs> well, I ate the second one. Okay. <laughs> have you been eating the Snickers in, I am the, she, yes, Fred. She is so good looking. Who is so good looking? You. And this just in from Mutta, I applaud your something about to use Asian something in my, I don't know. Anyways, it's probably something sassy knowing Mutta, so. I don't know where my phone is. Just occurred to me. Hmm. So these, yeah, look at these carrots. They're purple on the outside, but yellow on the inside. Oh, that's weird. They're fancy. Yeah, these ones I'm just sort of not being as fancy with. I'm pretty excited about this dinner tonight. We haven't seen these people in over two years. Yeah. So, you know, as you do in these days where, you know, you just be like, hey, when's the last time I saw you in person? Three years ago. <laughs> I got a friend who I used to work with, Steve Gibbons, and uh, he emailed me the other day asking about, he's going to Juno or something like that and wanted sightseeing. And I was like, go see Mendelssohn Glacier. That's the only thing I've ever seen. And um, anyways, I was like, um, Realized that I probably haven't seen him since uh, spring of 2019. So, you know, the wow. life as it is being what it is. Okay. He refuses to wear them even if he did. What? Hair clips. <laughs> Jan says she feels like she needs to send you some hair clips. No, no. Well, my hair's fine. <laughs> now imagine that in slow motion. Okay, I need one quarter of a, a red onion. We're going to eyeball that. Let me throw that in there. As long as I have, you know. Wow. That seems like more than a quarter. I don't know. How much? Did you chop up the whole red onion? I didn't. That was, oh, okay. So that was about, half? About half of that. Gotcha. Okay. So, okay. Oh. And then we need one clove of garlic sliced. And... You couldn't use some garlic we already have open? Probably. Hey, here's some. Garlic is weird right now because it wants to germ. It wants to germinate, right? Because it's spring and it's like, hey man, put me in the ground, please. And so you end up with- It is not spring. It is still the dead of winter. Well, it's fine. Whatever the case may be, it likes it and, you know. But it's warm in the house, so it feels like. So you can see the little germ. Now let's talk about that. So you can slice this and half like this and you because it'll be bitter if not so you can just take that little green if you can get it out oh we've got one minute of our 10 minutes left so you know that things are moving. okay take that out just like that and it's not going to be bitter so make sure you do the other side too no not in your office or on the couches or anything thanks what are you for looking, looking for, for? my phone probably in our bedroom on the back no. Okay. Thank you for offering. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, I don't want that. Almost put it right in the cucumbers. So, I mean. Can we see the jar? We can put it on the. Yeah, there you go. Oh, gosh, that looks pretty. It's real pretty. Okay. Woo! Yeah, that uh, that hair toss is right. I should be in a commercial for like, maybe it's Maybelline or something like that. We need one half of a jalapeno. Um, if you wanted it, if you wanted it spicier, get a habanero, get a serrano. I don't know. I'm just saying what I'm gonna do. Or use more. Or use more. I don't know. Um, you, you can, I'm gonna take this out and then I'm gonna, for our sake, I don't want it like I want the taste of the. But I don't want the hotness <laughs> of the pith. So we're gonna take a pith out of it and go ahead and is that what it's called even in a jalapeno? Is no, it called pith? It's the pith brand, but oh. I plead the pith. I <laughs> I do think it's funny, so I like using the word pith. Because it's an in your, it's a double entendre or something like that. No, it's not. I don't know. Sliced into matchsticks. Same as the rest. I'm gonna finish this because then I'm gonna get some of the the we've got to get the um, the cucumbers going, and we also need to get um, 
this pickling liquid started. So when I'm going to start the pickling liquid, we're going to move to the next thing, and then we're just, I mean, look, multifaceted here. So this goes in there, and then we need one half cup, oh, good Lord, here, of, it says in a microwave, but I'm not doing it in a microwave. I need a half cup of this. Nope. Yep, I need a half cup of this. So if you've ever pickled anything, you can, um, you know, play around with this a little bit. But, and, and the salt. So in the salt, we need one teaspoon, which we know what that looks like. And this is just gonna basically dissolve the salt in the, in the mixture. If you were using um, seasoned rice wine and vinegar, then there's more, there's sugar and salt sort of in it. So we'll get that going. I'm gonna warm it up. And then I don't want it to boil. I just want it to get sort of hot, which it's gonna do. And then, Okay, so while that's doing that, let's make sure we know what we're doing next. So, okay, so some things that you can already notice that are happening is that there's a lot of liquid coming out the bottom here. So that's what the colander is helping you. So toss it, toss it, toss it. If you can't see that, we'll do it in a sec. Um, okay, back to this. Toss and coat the slices, let's say 10 minutes. Use paper towels to block dry the cucumber slices. That seems kind of a waste, but whatever. What's the matter? Do you wanna try this? Sure, why not? <laughs> Go over your head. Pull it down, all the way down around your neck. Oh, okay. Okay, get your hair out. Okay. In the back too. Oh, okay. And then pull it up, up, oh, here. No. <laughs> Just the front, sorry, honey, I wasn't very specific. There you go. Ooh, I feel well, like- Well, keep going. I feel like Mr. Miyagi. You don't look like Mr. <laughs> keep going. Oh, did it cinch up in the back? Yeah. Is that not supposed to happen? No. Yeah. We'll Try see. again. Pull it all down around. No, I don't want to do that. We're wasting valuable time here. Okay. Well, at least now it's out of your face. Sort of. I don't know what's happening. I've Everybody been... loves it. I think sure. you look great. You look like an old yoga instructor. <laughs> <laughs> go full Rambo. That's it. That is so much. That's because you didn't. You're supposed to go over your hair. Oh well. You just... didn't... Yeah. There you go. Like that. Okay. Now you look like that baker guy that you love. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully it looks good. Catch that sweat. That's probably a good plan, Kim. <laughs> All right, so this is already getting you know, temperature. I don't want it to be any hotter than that. So while that's doing that, I'm going to just toss these out here. And I'm gonna, we're going to block these dry. I don't know exactly if that's, I mean, it seems like a lot, but... So while that's that, what else do I need here for this one? So I'm going to put this one in case. Slice, sit, 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 sit. Okay. Is there no, there's no sugar in this one. That's fun. So. What is that? Just boiling water? Uh, it's a half cup of rice wine vinegar and a quarter cup of water and oh. salt. Interesting. Now, that doesn't seem like enough. Does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. But you were supposed to do it in the smaller jar, right? Yeah, you chose a larger jar. I did. Okay, so just make twice as much. Exactly. See, this is why we, this is a team effort, everyone. Where am I? Oh, no. Where in the I? sink? Yep. Thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Anyways. Yeah, this this is. I guess you were just gonna stuff it full. So I don't think that's that's not realistic. We want it to cover. You want it to cover your vegetables. That is the moral of that story. Salt. Perfect. Done. Okay. Oh, Maybe. please close that and take it off the ledge. I don't want to clean that up. Thanks. Not again. <laughs> Look, look at this blotting out, everyone. Is that, you know? <clears throat> you know what, John? 
at least my hair's on my face. John Rambo was, you know, had PTSD. I mean, he'd just gone to some counseling instead of attack a whole town. Yeah, maybe Brian Denny, he should have left him alone. It's not my problem, but. Was his first name really John? John Rambo. What you Never really thinking? thought of Rambo as having a first name. <laughs> I thought it was just like Cher. Madonna. So. Beyonce. Beyonce. But what are you guys talking about? The movie? You know Rambo? Rambo? Nope. Ooh, uh, uh, programming alert. Um, so while we're gone on the cruise, obviously we can't do that. So that's like three weekends. I'm going to have, you'll have three pre-recorded things. So, but um, on the 18th of February, my dad will be here. So that's always an adventure. Um, who knows? I'm going to try and convince him. He says he's only staying for like two weeks or something, or a week and a half or two weeks. I don't know what it is. But I told him, I want to, I'm going to try and convince him to stay while we're, the whole time we're gone. He can enjoy I don't think our test. That's going to happen. I mean, of course, it's not going to happen. But he changed. He changed his plans. Coming out of Texas, I mean, he can't change his plan for me. MacGyver has a first name too. Yeah, I know what it is. Do you know what it is, John? Whew. Okay, how's that? <laughs> Remember how these shepherds? <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. That's a good one, Ping. Yes. Thank you for that. That's freaking great. That's amazing. It took me a second to figure out what the hell it is, but. All right. That's what we're looking for, okay? We want this Coverage. to cover everything. And then we're going to put this lid on it. Well, actually, yeah. And then I'm going to. Oh, don't do that. You have to put it on tight or else it will leak. Yes, you do. I'm just doing this to distribute all the veggies together here. So you get a... So if you had crammed it into that tight little thing... It might have fit, but... But it wouldn't. you wouldn't have been able to mix around. No. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm just going to set this off inside because it's done. All right. So that's the heated Asian, like generic Asian one. And then we're doing, uh, this, so the now we need to place the rice white vinegar in a small bowl. Okay, that's, we know how to do that. One half cup or one whole cup of rice wine vinegar. Do you have a whole cup left? Yeah. This is you could pop that thing off, you know. This is more entertaining for everybody watching. Watching this. Boop, 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 boop. You say so. And while everything is coming together over there, we'll make the cocktail and then it'll be time to try it. It'll be great. It's going to be great. We need a half cup of sugar. I love it. I think you're doing a great job. I'm going to do, I think I'm doing great too. I was panicked, but now I'm, whatever. Here we are. You're stuck with me, so. <laughs> you guys like how I called you side dishers today on the Facebook? Side dishers. I don't know if that's the proper name. No, but, but it's what I did. Well, you but, didn't call them side pieces, so that's it. True. Fan club, I guess. Oh. What'd you say? Fan club, I guess. I guess, yeah. So, <laughs> okay. Well, that's doing that. Uh, the so the sugar small. We're gonna add, now put those in a large bowl, and like that, we're gonna put that in a large bowl. And we gotta chop some cilantro. Hey, do you guys see the? What, have you guys figured out yet um, that I a don't know what I'm doing, but b also how to keep your herbs a little bit fresh while you is you put them in a little water. And I want a half cup of this too. So, you know, we're chopping it up. And really. What's MacGyver's first name? What's MacGyver's first name? Angus. Angus? Yep. Huh. They didn't outright tell you, but it was like basically saying that his name was the same name as his mystery, and it was on this wall of this ancient thing, castle in Scotland. And anyways, whatever. That's Angus MacGyver is his name. I think they were more overt about it in that reboot MacGyver show, which, come on. Richard Dean Anderson gets it done. Stargate. Nope. Cilantro, you added afterwards. That was the That makes situation. sense, because otherwise it will just wilt and get, yeah. Yeah. 
So make sure it's dissolved. The sugar is dissolved. So now I'm adding this. We so can't say what you're doing. Can you put it on? I'm going to. And then with the spoon, again, while it's in there, it's already going to start to cool down. Now the, the salt that was on here is going to, with the sugar, is going to make this really nice sort of, you're going to get a good pickle out of it. Lena wants to know if you know Quincy's first name. Um, MD. <laughs> no, it's something, um, I, it's in my brain basket. As soon as you say it, I will know what it is. And that is obviously a cop out, mm -hmm. but I do know what it is. What is it? It's like Stuart or something like that. I don't know. Stuart Quincy. What movie is it? Quincy is a TV show. Quincy MD is a, uh, is a TV show from the 1970s and early 80s. Starring uh, Fred Klugman. No, that's not his first name. Fred is not his first name. Uh, anyways, Jack Klugman. And uh, he uh, he was a medical examiner. Oh. It was like uh, one of the first, like it was like House or something like that. You know? Everybody went to Quincy. No, the Christmas tree is not off, Ted. It's just moved. <laughs> so you can't see it in the reflection of the thing. But it is there. Okay. So this is, all, it's a little warm, but it's not going to wilt anything. So now we're going to add this. And I'm going to add the rest of this. Proof of life? What the hell does that mean? You want proof of life for the Christmas tree? It's weird. So this is a, so already we've got a, sort of a, a, a difference in what, you know, a regular cucumber salad that we have normally had. I'm looking for it. Um, <laughs> we are getting proof of life. Um, Carmen took a picture of it. So now this thing is going to sit in at least 20 minutes. And I'm going to put it actually in the refrigerator if we have some room. Do we have room in here? Sure. Why not? I mean, I can shove anything. So. Wow. I don't like the way that sounds. Your proof is there. That's okay. not gonna. That's not going to uh, okay. appease Ted because. <laughs> so now we got that going. Take the picture. The other thing too oh is we need. Um, so we're, the peanuts will go on at the end. So you know you don't get. Hot. And are you gonna drain some of that liquid off? It does not say to do that. Take one next to a newspaper. Yeah, that's what I figured. What? Yeah. <laughs> and the internet says they never said his first name, just Dr. R. Quincy. Yeah, yeah, R. So R, Robert, Roger. Roderick. Maybe. You know, Ralph. Ralph Quincy. That's, I like that. All right, so the last one we're going to do is we're going to do uh, the daikon, which is over there. And we're going to do it with this nice, beautiful area. And we're going to do matchsticks, and we're going to peel it. This is another pickly thing? Yeah, this is the last one. Oh, where does my cocktail go? It comes after I finish this so that oh. they, we can make the cocktails, and then I we can try everything a little bit later. Reginald. That's not true. Could be. Reggie Quincy? Nobody calls Reginald me. Quincy. I think you're full of it. I think. You tell me what episode they reveal that in, Lino, and I might believe you. I think we're all just guessing now, honey. Our names. Oh, sorry. Gosh, you're really being hard on people. There's a lot of sass on what's going on right now. And, you know, I the people who are in the chat are sassy. Did Quincy? That's not true. It's not, that's not true. You just wanted to say dick on, on the chat, John. <laughs> that's what we start with. Richard. We I should don't... do a side dish happy hour more or half day side dish more often. Yeah, I mean whatever. <laughs> I'm down with it. People on the East Coast will not be it won't be ten o'clock on the people on the East Coast. Or you know, it'll only be eleven o'clock if you're in England. So maybe we can get an international audience going. If we already have some international people, speak up now. If not, well, if you know any international people, tell them about it. It would be nice to not be eating. No, that's, see, that's not going to work. And I'll she, tell you why. He's not going to believe that. Because you wrote that on there. It could be any time. And that's, we actually <laughs> it have to have says it. the date. He doesn't care. No, it oh, is. I don't have a newspaper. <laughs> yeah, who has a newspaper? No, we're not going to. How? You think I'm going to go on there and be like, hi, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber and uh, I need to requisition your kitchen? 
Maybe I could ask him to use it on my phone. I could record an episode of me. Hey, can I see the kitchen and how you prepare your side dishes? Maybe. I don't know. Would that, you never know. We'll see. If Lino was in Italy, your show would be international. Yeah, and if a frog had wings, he wouldn't bump his ass when he hopped. So, <laughs> I mean, or as my good friend Aaron Hinckley would say, um, if ifs and buts were candy enough, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. So, whoops. So, yeah, again, matchsticks. Matchsticks. Everything's matchsticks. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. What happened with that? Try not to chop my fingers off, but I'm also trying to pay attention. <laughs> Kim, if a frog had wings, he wouldn't bump his ass when he hopped. <laughs> he also likes to say, if it's if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, then we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Oh, Aaron. The my dad used to well, everybody's dad probably used to say if frog had wings, he'd bump his ass when he hung. No, my father never said that. Whatever. I never knew my father. Oh great. Now <laughs> <laughs> we're just getting now it's getting morbid. All right. And I need one medium purely cut of the strip. This is the smallest of the daikons that I can get. I don't consider this medium. Teresa, will we consider this medium? Consult your mom. While she does that, I'm going to at least uh, peel it. Look at this, it's got like hair. No? Okay. Yeah, now you're the one petting vegetables. Yeah, I learned it from watching you. That's a Japanese daikon and not a Korean. Well, it's what they had at Yim's. So if I could, you, I don't know what a, 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 a Korean one looks like, I guess. So maybe you'll have to school me on that. Either way, if you can find a daikon radish, which this is, and there's also varietals, um, you know, get those. So they're rounder and not long and skinny. Okay, time for it. Good to know. Again, this cleaver is really beautiful for this kind of application here because, well, it's sharp and it's skinny. And so most of the time, the vegetables don't stick to your um, cleaver. I said most of the time. I thought that would be a little uh, hip thrust. It seems extra quiet in here tonight, don't you think? It seems weird. When I don't say anything, it's still real quiet. So, What else? What did you guys do this Saturday? Amy and uh, Carmen went to a little thrifting with Denise. And uh, speaking of Denise, she's probably having a nap right now, if I had to guess. And um, I don't know. I, uh, I took down the Christmas lights, and we had till this weekend. Don't get on my butt. And um, it's Minecraft, you know, the things you do. I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like if that did happen, you would pass out. I would. I wouldn't I could, be able to help. If I cut my finger off? Yep. And the and I'm watching the screen, so it would it would happen and then I would see it. And then I would just walk to the bedroom. And Carmen would have to help you. <laughs> We'd get it in control. It wouldn't be that bad. I'm okay with and it. why would you put that? Mojo out to the universe, whoever said it. John did it. Of course he did. <laughs> I think John wants to see you cut my finger. I thought we were friends. I had big plans for this Saturday, but. What were your big plans? I don't really know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a bunch of stuff I need to do for work. That's it's fun not... stuff. It's like arts and crafts kind of stuff, but still work. Okay, well. The, the, the scammer guy's back. Yep. God. Go away, Russian scammer. This is a different one. We
We must, they, uh, they must have, I don't know. No. I don't want to pickle my finger, <laughs> you weirdo. You put it on ice and you go to the you go to the doctor and they put it right back on. Stitch it right back on. Yeah. And anyways, that's not loss of a limb. A finger is not a limb. We've established this. So if it was a limb, well, Amy would be packing and we'd be leaving. So we'd have to sell the house. That's <laughs> why I was going to walk back to the bedroom. <laughs> so packing my bags. I was just kidding. Anyways. All right. So if you wanted more carrots in this mix, you could do that. Yeah, Andrea, no working on Saturday. Anyways. So. But this is more daikon heavy. So when you're, if you if, if you come over sometime and we make banh mi sandwiches, which are delicious, um, then we will uh, we'll show you. Shove all this in there. <laughs> now, the same thing applies here on everything. Um, Add water, not rice, and rice vinegar, pack and squeeze it. This, so you don't even have to, um, I'm gonna add the sugar to this thing, and I'm not going, but because I don't wanna, I don't want it to be, um, I want it to dissolve first. So I'm gonna add the sugar to this, which I need uh, one quarter of a cup of the sugar. And then we need, one half cup of rice wine vinegar and a quarter uh, and uh, one cup of water. So, and really, all I, again, all I'm going to do with this is make sure that I get it, everything dissolved. So, uh-oh. Why is the water still running? Why isn't it? Why isn't it your water still running? Yeah, it's the water. All right, so uh, because uh, I ran out, we're going to use a little bit of season. It's going to be fun. Again, if this is all you had, cut back on the sugar, and you'll be fine. Let me get this cat hair out of here. Nope. There we go. Add that in, and then I'm just going to take a this. Time Make sure you get it is dissolved as you possibly can. Now, we're also gonna get some of this dissolved when we put it in the actual, because we can shake it up. Now, if I know things, I think we just threw the lid. I put, um, I put lids up here. I put them over there. Where? Oh, sure enough. Thanks, Ann. Yeah, I got you covered. It's not a Doug hair. I mean, it could be, but probably not. Again, so just give it a, tighten it on there, give it a toss. And again, all of this is going to be better tomorrow. All of it. So, now that that's done, and that's doing its business, let's make a cocktail. Ready? You've got the, you've got, you've got the recipe. Ready. Okay. Okay. One pair. One pair. What am I doing with this pair? Chopping it up and making pieces? Yep. Oh, you're supposed to peel it, but I forgot to tell you. So yeah. Oh, well. Fifty. It'll straighten out. Huh, why is that my cocktail recipe showing? I don't know. Was it on your phone? No, I, I typed it in here. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Okay. Anywho, I can still tell you. I just tell you. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh huh. Perfect. This is going really well. Okay. Peeled and chopped. Put it in your thinger. How much of it? All of it. Oh, and this makes two. Yeah. Okay. So. Again, just baby pear. Holy moly, look at this thing. That's the other thing that this thing is good for. It's a little uh, bench scraper, too. Probably gonna have a little, maybe, onion taste to it. Who knows? <laughs> Bless you. Okay. Okay, one 
tablespoon honey. One tablespoon honey. Um, do I have um, my... Just oh, squirt some in there. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Half of a lime juiced. No uh, zest or no? Nope. Okay. That's the one that's not the hardest to damn rock. Well, apparently citrus is hard to get because it's <laughs> Stupid roll hard. it, roll it first. Enjoy it a little bit. Probably a regular size lime, so maybe do both of these. Half. So do one. So just do one. Okay. Okay, muddle that. There's a hint of lime juice in there. Where'd my muddle go? It's right in front, right in front of you. Nope. Hey, I found it. Yep. The grossest sound on the internet. Yeah. Do you want it, what liquid consistency or? You want like puree. Okay, well that's okay. Three ounces of bourbon. Ooh, three. It's for two of us. Yeah, for one of you, could be good. One, two. We're shaking this. Yep. Okay. Add some ice. Plus, it's a nice bourbon cocktail. Like that. What does rolling it do? Oh, so rolling it like breaks up the membranes inside of it and um, helps it juicy. Helps it juicy. Too. Yeah. <laughs> now for the piece de resistance. I probably should put ice in these glasses. Um, where's the ginger beer? It's right here. Okay. Is it cold? No. So just add it to that. And shake it. No, it's, it's. Don't fizzy. shake it. Just add it to it. And then when you pour it, it'll go over the ice and it'll cool it down a little bit. Okay. How much goes in there? Six ounces. Wow. Yep. There's probably a weird way to do this, but I'm not, I'm going to. Do it this way. How much is in here? I mean, it's, oh, 12. So basically, you could have done half of this bottle. Now, it, it calls for ginger ale, but this is what we had. So it's going to be delicious no matter what. Okay. You got to split it between two. I know. There's a lot in there. Okay. This is the skin playing jokes on us right now. That's your right, but it's my left. Okay. Well, it smells bourbony. It's gonna be delicious. Oh, that is quite delightful. Mm, that's good. I think you need an extra ripe. I think you're gonna need an extra ripe um, pear, like we had. Give it the sugar that's in there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So that's hot. That's sort of hot. Let's get, let's get a couple of forks and taste it. Now, again, like I said, don't crucify me here. But, um, you want to try? Sure. Oh, yeah. That's good. 
The deadline. Oh, that's good. That's gonna be real good. I can tell you that already. I would maybe chop. I would maybe dice the um the jalapeno instead of match ticket, so you don't get a huge bite like that, and you get a little bit more distribution. But that's gonna be really excellent. No, I feel okay. I'm not really. I'm scared of that one because I think it's gonna be spicy. It was not really spicy at all. So the last thing we need to do here, now this is probably not going to be cooled all the way, but it is what it is. We're going to try it anyways. So just chop, take a handful of peanuts here for now. I'll get all uh, what we need. And we're just going to do, a, you know, these are half peanuts or whatever. And these are roasted. I'm just doing, um, you know, a chop on them, like a rough. And then <laughs> that was for comedic effect. I'm sure you hope you figured that out. A little bit of this. A little bit of chopped peanut on the top. Let's have a little taster here. Mm. Well, Paige has a good question. I think we just said pear in our, what we found, right, Jim? It just said pear, yeah. 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 It's good. It's very crunchy. Yeah, it's good. I liked it that a lot. The peanut has a, and the cilantro adds a lot to the flavor. I like that a lot. Mm hmm. Was one of these pushed up fish last night? Because that'd be fun. Or was that something else I was looking at? What did you ask? Nope, that's for something else. If one of these recipes was supposed to have uh, fish sauce in it. Oh. No, it was for something else I was looking at. Anyways, I'm going to drink this drink real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, sure. Thanks uh, for tuning in early. Let, if you like this uh, or a little earlier format, comment on this video or do it. Do, you know, every one of you who's in here, all nine of you, including me, to all eight of you, um, put a little thumbs up on here. Let us know if you like this, because I mean, I don't mind this. Do you mind it being a fork? No. Because then it leads right into dinner. It also means that I might eat dinner at a reasonable time. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna drink a lot more of this because I like the bourbon, but everything in this is, is delicious if you ask me. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, it's five o'clock. We're, we're a little bit over, about an hour here in terms of everything. But you can do this, you get these ready, put them in your fridge the night before. Whatever you're making, and they, you know, if you're making like, a, oh, maybe you're making spring rolls, fried spring rolls, and a little bit of bomb meat sandwich, or you're making sushi, or whatever, or you're making some Thai food. I mean, <coughs> get on it. These are, I like these pickles. Like I said, the I use, I have pickled red onions that I've had, and I use them almost on everything. So they're delicious. And most of these, if you've noticed, they're gluten free. They're most are vegetarian. They're all vegetarian and vegan, really. I think. I think. Uh, anyways, um, remember. Thanks for showing up as always, and we love you. And remember that uh, to be kind, be loyal, and do something nice for somebody next week. And salute. We love you so much. See you later.